This problem is called changing sequence. They have the function changing sequence, take an array and return the index at which the number stop increasing and begin decreasing or stop decreasing and begin increasing. For example, if ARR is 1, 2, 4, 6, 4, 3, 1, then your program should return 3 because 6 is the last point in the array where the number were increasing and the next number begin a decreasing sequence. The array will contain at least three numbers and it may contain only a single sequence, increasing or decreasing. If there are only a single sequence in the array, then your program should return minus one. Indexing should begin with zero. So here is how we, go, we are going to solve this. Let's just say we get an input value, input array is this. Now, we are going to check if the current value, let's just say current value is 6. If the current value is greater than previous value, if current value is greater than previous value, and if current value is greater than next value, that means this is where our values stopped increasing and it starts decreasing. This is the index. So we are going to return that index. Return that index in that in this case it is 3 or if we see a decreasing value if the current value um, current value is less than previous value let's just say current value is 2 if it is less than previous value and current value is less than the next value that means this is the last number where the numbers stopped decreasing and started increasing so we are going to return this index so this is how we are going to solve it very easy for let i equal to 1 i less than length minus 1 i plus plus current value is greater than previous value and current value is greater than next value or current value is less than previous value and current value is less than next value In this case, uh, in this case, I'm going to return i. Otherwise, I'll return minus one. 